Okay, how many milliliters of this molarity? So I'm trying to find one of my volumes. I'm going to call it volume one. That's my molarity one. Is required to prepare. Okay, so see milliliters. So that's volume two and molarity two. Again, I've got that of word in there. And then double check my units. So milliliters and milliliters. Okay, I'm good. I'm going to come out with the right unit. That'll be good. So at this point, pause and solve these problems and then log back on or pause and then restart it so you can watch me work these three problems. So we've got 0 0.224 molar or molarity times volume equals 5.0 times 10 to the 2 milliliters times 0 0.055 molarity. Then I divide both sides by the 0 0.224. That's going to give me volume is equal to 5.0 times 10 to the 2 times 0 0.55. Sorry, 0 0.055 and 0 0.224 molarity. Notice that this was a molarity and that was a milliliter. So those cancel. And notice that will give me the correct unit, which is milliliters. You plug that in your calculator, you're going to get that number. The reason it's two sig figs is because I have one, two right there. Or you could say I have one, two right there. Either ways, one, two, six figs. And hopefully you remember how I said how to write that with scientific notation if you needed to. Next one, what's the molarity of solution formed by adding, okay, volume one of A, see of, so those are tied together, molarity one, two, and then here's our volume two. And then we're filling it to the, mark with distilled water. If you watch that little video, you could see what that meant. So basically you put one solution in and there's a marking here and you add enough water and then you mix it all up. That's how you get your new dilution. So MV, so 2.50 molarity times 30.0 milliliters equals 0 0.1000 liters times molarity. Now, I just noticed something, and you might have noticed this too. I didn't do my little check. So let's double check my units here. Oh no, my units are off. So I either fix it in the problem or I fix it outside the problem. You may be able to do this in your head, and if you can, that's awesome. If you can't, it's the liters times in one times 10 to the minus third liters in one milliliter. That's going to give you 100 milliliters, actually 100.0 milliliters. So I need to change this number and make it 100.0 milliliters. Now it should be good. Divide both sides by the 100.0. 2.5 molarity times my 30.0 milliliters. Divided by 100.0 milliliters. This canceled. Let me put that in your calculator. You're going to get this number over here. I dropped a zero, and that's why I, at first it looked like I didn't have the right sig figs. And last one. So if we have 50 milliliters of a 6.50, so again, volume one, molarity one, of is that, sorry, <laughs> molarity two, molarity one, that of is that tying word together, is diluted to give, so this is our second molarity. What is the final volume in liters? So quick check, are these the same? They're not the same. So at the end, I need to remember to convert, I'm gonna come out in milliliters, so I'm gonna remember to convert my milliliters to liters. Or at the beginning, I can go ahead and convert my milliliters to liters. Can you do it in your head yet? You do it the same way as up here. You should get 0 0.050, zero, zero, one, two, yep, liters. That's my volume, oops, times my 6.50 molarity equals my volume two times my 1.30 molarity. Divide both sides by 1.30, 1.30, again, molarity, molarity. Those numbers cancel, and when you plug it into the calculator,